Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printing here. I just want to make a quick video today on how to use environment variables in Python. So environment variables are, of course, variables stored in your environment. So if I do print env on the command line here, I'll see a bunch of environment variables that I have. So I see, like down here, I have the home, log name, go path, I have um, the working directory, the name, user, the type of terminal, shell, and so on. And of course, I have the path, which is the main environment variable that people are concerned with. So I'll start a Python repo, and I'll show you how to access these inside of Python. So first thing I need to do is from OS, import environ. So E-N-V-I-R-O-N. And then I can simply use environ.git and then the name of the environment variable. So in this case, I'll try home, and that gives me home slash Anthony. If I do path, this will give me my path. If I do PWD, it gives me the current directory. And of course, I can create my own environment variable. So I'll call this custom env var, and I'll just say my custom environment variable is what's going to be in it. So just exporting that and I'll start Python again. And from OS import environ. And then I can see that custom environment variable that I just created by calling environ.git custom env var. And then you see the text that I typed when I exported that environment variable. So environment variables can be really useful when your script is being run on different computers and they could have different settings. So for instance, you can have a test computer in an, a production one, a test server or a production server, whatever you want to call it. And you can have different environment variables for each system. So you don't have to actually modify any of the code, but instead the environment variables, variables will be created on each individual server and then the script will just read those. So that's just one use for environment variables. You may be able to find other ones, but I just want to show you how to use them in Python. So if you have any questions about this video, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.